The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the watermarks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillian was not from Fontaine, and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillian. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Lillian, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. I... I was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The... And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House, but she'd been feeling some pressure in the work lately, which made her decide to come see the magic show. The magic troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. It seems that she has no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all, which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Sure, it's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. For you, 
I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. I heard that Linny's show was going to be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. And I'd never been caught before. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. for a while now. Paima wonders if Lenny caught the thief. The essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. And the most important part of this is what people see. People don't realize how much they expect their eyes to tell them the truth. But what you see is not real. It's all a show. And every part of the show is carefully controlled. Controlled how? By choosing the right time, the right place, and the right people. Whoever controls these three controls everything. Fun. But it's not enough. <laughs> Let me make something clear. You think of yourselves as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone their craft to mesmerize the whole crowd. 